Okay, I'm gonna show you this problem in two different ways, okay? One with the shortcut, and then the uh, traditional way. When you have a log with a big number and a little number, as in big pi and little pi, they cancel each other out, and you get two x plus three is equal to four. And then we have two x is equal to, what would that give us? One. one. So x will be one half. Now, if you're like, well, what if I don't remember this? From Algebra 2, hopefully you did like something called around the world or drop, drop and cross. Drop and cross basically means I'm gonna drop this x, I mean, not x, that pi, and make this four the new power, and then write out the remaining on the other side. And what's unique about this problem is, what do I notice about the base numbers? They are identical, so therefore, exponents must be equal to each other. And that is basically what I did at the beginning. So if you wanna drop and cross on every single one of them, go for it, but when I see a log stuck with a small number and big number, I'm just gonna cancel it, okay? So let's go on to our next number. Number eight. What is scary about number eight? We have a lot of logs, right? So we have to go ahead and condense this. And when I say condense, I need one log on the left, one log on the right. But look at the right side of the equation. How many logs do I have? Three of them. So let's try to condense this step by step. So we have, I'm gonna leave the left side alone. In the world of log, if you have a constant in front, that goes as a power. Do we all remember that? Hopefully, from algebra two and pre-cal to the power four. And I'm just gonna take this outside of the parentheses. You don't really need it at the moment because we're adding. So when you distribute the plus sign, it doesn't change. Oh God, there goes my space issue. All right, so when I am condensing, if it is a positive number, we're gonna multiply. And if it's a negative number, we're gonna divide. So in this case, this and this are both positive logs, correct? It's gonna stay on the top and multiply. So we have, um, let's write out log base seven of X is equal to log base seven. Give me a big fraction. So two to the power of four is gonna multiply and oh, why does circle the seven? <coughs> Three is going to multiply. The common base will stay the same since we're taking it out right here. Could we actually compute two to the power of four? Yeah. What is it? 16 and then times three, the six, has a minus sign that's gonna go on the bottom. So now we have condensed, and we have the same log and same base. I could set the remaining to each other, the arguments. X equals, could we distribute, or not distribute, could we simplify while we're at it? What is 16 times three? 48, 48 divided by six? Eight, done. So you have to condense as much as you can until you get a single log on the left and the right, and then you set the argument equal to each other. Is it slowly coming back to you from Algebra 2? Yeah. And maybe Pre-Cal? Yeah. Unless you weren't paying attention? All right, number 11. Number 11 gave you a hint on the bottom. What does it say? So make it all into base 2. So the first one is already in base 2, so I'm not going to mess with that. All right, let's do a recall of change of base. If I had four and an X, <clears throat> and it's not a base two, I need to go ahead and separate it. And by that I'm talking about, oh, that's not log. Look what I wrote, LG. Let me slow down. So we have log base two for both of them. And then on the top, I'm gonna to put X. And on the bottom, I'm gonna write four. And that's the rule for change, um, change of bases, if you did not remember. The next one, same thing. We have log base two, log base two. What's gonna go on the top? X, what's gonna go on the bottom? Eight. The parts that we can compute, these two do not have a variable, we can compute these two. So I'm gonna write out everything as it is for now. 
except the base, the bottoms. All right. Okay, on this right here, two to the power of something is equal to four. What is that something? Two. Two. <clears throat> the next one, two to the power of something is eight. What is that something? Three. Boom. Now I'm gonna pull this out then. We have, let's use the same color. Y'all, I don't have enough space. Ugh. One half I'm gonna take out, and that should be a plus sign. And then we have log base two of X. The one third I'm gonna take out, log base two of X. What do you think I'm gonna do to the number one third and one half? Put it to the, Put it to the as the exponent. So we have, while I do the exponent, are you guys okay if I just condense it while I'm at it? Yeah. So since they're all positive logs, we're all going to condense by multiplying. So we have log base two of, and I'm gonna use a bracket because I'm thinking ahead. I need my x. The next one is x to the one half. And the next one is x to the one third. And it was equal to what on the very top that I forgot to write out? 11. Okay, let's do the rules. If y'all remember the rules of powers when the bases are multiplied, we added them, right? So when I add them, let's write the understood one. And I'm gonna do some side work on right here. What is our common denominator on this one? Six, so I have six over six. That's replacing one. How would I replace one half? Three over six. What about one third? Two over six. So when I add, ooh, add, when I add all the numerators, what do I get? 11 over six. So we have log base two of x to 11 over six is equal to 11. Now let's drop and cross. Drop the two, x becomes a new power, and this goes on the other side. Is my x almost by itself at the moment? So I'm gonna take this and multiply by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal causes everything to cancel, meaning x is now by itself. We have that 11 from the original two, understood one. Do y'all see that the 11s are gonna to cancel too? So we have x is two to the power of six. Let's go ahead and compute two to the power of six in your head. Two times two is four, times two is eight, Times two is 16. Keep going. 128. Not 128, you went too far. 64. 64. Dominique. You're just like patiently waiting. I appreciate that. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. 15. Ooh, did I really put point 0.1 on that one? That's mean. Okay, let me ponder. Da, da, da. Let's do 15 at the very end after number 20. I need to do something with the point one. That's a good problem. Who chose that one, 15? And then, okay. I saw the point one. You're like, what is this? Okay, number 20. Let's go ahead and condense this first. Okay, when condensing, I think I wanna go ahead and take it out of the parentheses first. We have log base three of x is equal to log base three of six plus a log base three of 10, uh, three of 10 minus log base three of five. So all the ones that are positive logs, what operation are we gonna do? Multiply. Multiply. So we have log base three of X is equal to log base three of, I'm gonna put six times 10 and then what's gonna go on the denominator? 
five. And now we have a single log and they have the same basis. I could set the argument equal to each other. And I think I want to do 10 divided by five and times six. How many is that? 10 divided by five is two, two times six, 12. 